Kentucky jersey inside, and now he goes to join Anthony. Oh, But first, our feel good story of the night Victoria Duval, 17 years old, taking on Samantha Stozer in round one of the U.S. Open. Stozer won the 2011 U.S. Open. It's a cross court forehand winner. Duval up 5 3 in the third and deciding set, up 5 4 at that point. Next game, Duval serving Stozer. Able to return it, fight off match point. Frustration for Duval. Match point number three. Stozer returning the save and Duval wide. Would it be slipping away for the youngster? But on match point number four, Duval forehand winner and look at the jubilation. Unseated Victoria Duval comes back to win 5 7 6 4 6 4. Here she is with Pam Shriver. Victoria Duval, one of the great wins for a teenager in recent times in women's tennis. How did you pull off the win over a former U.S. Open champion? Um, the crowd helped me a lot today. Thank you. Um, I know. I know Sam is a great champion, and I watched her when she won the U.S. Open, and um, I know she didn't play her best today, and this is the best I've played in my career, so I'm really excited. <laughs> How did you hold your nerve at the end of that match? You had a few match points. You were getting so emotional. How were you able to keep it together? Um, I just tried to stay in the moment. Uh, I don't know, I'm really excited right now. <laughs> this year during Team Tennis, you got some assistance from a legend in tennis, Billie Jean King, who 40 years ago made so much happen for women's tennis. What were some of the things she told you in the summer? She told me most of all to have fun and that's what I did today. Um, she helped me so much the last couple months. She's a great mentor and she did a lot for tennis. So I was really fortunate to have that um, person help me. You also have a lot of people helping you in your family and friends box. Um, quite an, actually this whole Louis Armstrong court is a family and friends box but anyone you want to specially thank over there any of your family members coaches everyone over there I'm not gonna say every single one of their names but <laughs> yeah and I've had a lot of support um, so I'm just thankful for everything that's happened and you've actually had quite a journey to get to this match tonight in your life um, this may be some of the things that happen in your life make a tennis match seem like just a tennis match yeah, there's a lot to be thankful for. I don't take anything for granted. Um, you never know what can happen any day. You know, my dad is really fortunate to be here. And he flew down from Canada. And um, I thank God every day for everything that's happened. Life, life is short. And you're only 17 years of age. Coming up next, Daniela Hantukova. I'm sure you haven't given one second of thought. That's our job here at ESPN. How are you going to get ready for a next match? Take everything I learned today. Hopefully I can play like this again, and we'll see how it goes. I was actually a ballerina up until I was seven, and my brothers used to always go to this tournament in Santo Domingo, and the tournament director said, well, your daughter comes here every year and just sits on your lap. Why don't you have her play in the tournament? I never hit a tennis ball, really, and I didn't even know how to keep score, and I won the tournament. My mom was like, okay, either you dance or do tennis. And I was like, tennis! <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
The time is now, we need to shut it down. Gorilla music, we move in units underground, feel the movement and get it.